What up everybody, this is your girl July from Kickback Couture and today I want to speak a little bit about the Reason Drum Kit Rack Extension. This right here. Now when I use it, I usually use it to give my beats rhythm or to add some type of accent or transition. So many times when I'm using it, I use it like you just heard it with the uh, tambourine a crash sometimes i use the ride sometimes i use it for hi-hat patterns and i'll show another beat with that as well but as i was saying this beat has a tambourine and some cymbals so if i were to solo this part right here so set loop to selection and start playback This is what I recorded for my the composition of my beat. Now the GUI is pretty straightforward. It's a lot easier and it's a lot easier to understand than it was previously with just the combinator. Just as a uh, reason electric bass is. I'm not sure why I grabbed this instead of the other one, uh, but probably a habit instead of the actual rack extension. I mean, but this is the kick here and as we move down we see each different type of drum has its own drum settings down here below and then these red ones are the different mics the overhead mic room mic and then this is the master effects which we can add compression reverb and then over here in the room we can do the same as well as distortion EQ uh, change the width if we would like to and then the overhead has the same settings as the room but they are separate so in this case I use the tambourine so that's this here and we can change the volume from within here change the pan level the reverb send We can EQ it if we would like to, just by turning it on. Now, I just did some drastic changes so that you can hear the difference with that. Transient Shaper as well, we could turn up the attack. We could turn down the, the attack as well. Same with the sustain. And then we have this distortion drive. And there are two distortion types. So I won't be using any of those because I like how it is originally. We do have different presets that we could use here. And there are also MIDI files that we can use if we would like to. The MIDI files are located in here let's go ahead and close this and we can just drag them in wherever we would we please so i can easily just drag in a fill this donald d fill and let's place it somewhere we could place it about here maybe i'm going to change my time snap because that's a bit confusing and that makes it easier to understand and then i can play my intro and we will hear this fill that came with the rack extension playing now this is completely off time so we could time stretch it and see what works Now that's better. It doesn't fit the feel of the track, but this is just an example of what you could do. You can also change the samples. So if I wanted to let's see what we're using. We 
and using the snares. I can change the sample and the mic. And I can change the times as well. All right, so you could just about change the sample with uh, anything. Um, the only thing that you can't change the sample with is a tambourine and the claps and snaps. Everything else, you see this sample change window here and it's a very easy process to swap things out and to change the settings or whatever you may please so let's uh, go ahead and check out another beat i made that uses an instance of the reason drum kits rack extension all right here is another beat that i had created working in the process of working on my album basically and I'll go ahead and play the beginning July and we hear the reason drum kits rack extension and the hi-hat and there are toms in which I need to turn up so none of these tracks that I played are mixed, so keep that in mind. However, it is fairly easy to turn the drums up as I stated prior. So let's go ahead and get these up to par. I'm going to place my loop selection here. The toms are right here. So I can change it here and also here we have the high tom, mid tom, and the low tom. And I'm using all of them. And I'm also using the hi-hat here. And as I said before, I can change it however I please. I can change the sample, pitch, decay volume pan here we have the leakage from the overhead and the room mics and we have an eq transient shaper and distortion just as we did with the previous modules we looked at kick snare tom so on now there's a master volume knob here so you don't have to affect everything separately and potentially imbalance your mix by accident or whatever the case may be. So I do want to turn these hi-hats up. This beat isn't mixed at all, like I said. So just showing you the powers of the Reason Drum Kits rack extension and how simple it is to transition between the Combinator and this rack extension. The Combinator pre well technically it's called a refill so transitioning from the refill to the rack extension is definitely worth it in, in terms of workflow the samples are the same i believe all right yeah so that is basically all that i wanted to show you for the like pre preliminary process of getting into reason drum kits rack extension just check it out try it out if you like it you can rent it or you can add it to your subscription you don't have to pay all at once and if you already own the the refill like i do then you can get a specialized upgrade price so definitely consider that as well if you're thinking about getting this it is similar to, I want to say, Easy Drummer and 
addictive drums, but it is unique in that it is a rack extension. So it's uh completely up to you. I definitely do think it's a good addition to have different drum samples besides what I do have in addictive drums, which is what I own. I use the Reason drum kits frequently before the addition of VST use in Reason itself. So it's very nostalgic to be able to use these samples again in a more creative and workflow savvy way. So if you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.